Hello, my name is Skip, and this is my mid-year review of the best movies of the year so far. And I'm going to start with the best animated movie, and that is Brave. Kelly McDonald plays a young uh, princess in Scotland, and she kind of has a mind of her own, and she wants to do things on her own. And, of course, that goes against the Scottish traditions. But, uh, nonetheless, Pixar can do no wrong with uh, this time around Brave is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and fantastically done um, with the comedy and the drama that's in, involved in uh, Brave and I really think that uh, this is by far the best anime movie of the year so far. Now as far as comedies go this year we have a couple good comedies out early in the year and you know I'm going to start real quick I'll say my fourth favorite comedy is Dark Shadows. I think Johnny Depp and Tim Burton really put a nice uh, edge and twist on this uh, Dark Shadows um, story of the uh, soap opera of the 60s and a lot of great acting in, in it and uh, funny um, lines and uh, the story is really good as well. Now number uh, four is, number three is 21 Jump Street. I think um, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum do a fantastic job of making us uh, go back to this uh, TV show of the 80s and they put a nice, um, you know, their own kind of a twist on it as far as, you know, you're making fun of a uh, TV show from the 80s, but they, they, they have a nice storyline, and the, and, they're, and they're, you can tell they enjoy um, laughing at themselves when they're making this movie, and I really uh, thought 21 Jump Street was good. My, my number two uh, favorite uh, comedy of the year was Three Stooges. I just think the Three Stooges was just hilarious and heart uh, warming all all together. Uh, and, and 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 I think these Sean William Scott. I mean, um, oh geez, I can't think of the guy's name now. But the Three Stooges were played by three basically unknown guys. And uh, Mo has some really good story plots, and 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 the other guys do too. And there's a lot of cameos by popular people you may know in entertainment and whatnot. So I really like the Three Stooges and I hope we see more of these from the Fairly Brothers. I think they, they know to do, what to do with these characters and I really enjoy the, the Three Stooges. But my number one comedy of the year is Ted. I just think uh, Seth MacFarlane <laughs> outdid himself uh, with this um, movie and I think uh, Mark Wahlberg made the right cho choice choosing to be in Ted opposite a animated teddy bear and uh, it's neat to see how you, you take a washed up celebrity from the old 80s or 70s or other and how they get into all kinds of crazy stuff and and then there's this you know not another subplot in there and it's about it's about buddies and friends and having people that you can count on and it just happens to be a, a grown man and a teddy bear and uh, I think uh, it just so, there's so much raunchy comedy in here. It's definitely not for little kids, but I really enjoyed it. Now I'm going to go to uh, my top five movies of the year so far, and that is People Like Us. You know, going into People Like Us, I didn't think that this would be a great movie, but when I saw it, I was I, my jaw was down to the floor. I was shocked. Well, you know how heartwarming and how um, realistic this uh, movie was and how the characters in it were realistic and how you know you could see this actually going on in people's lives and I guess the um, the writers this is Damon Lindelof um, uh, or the writers of this this is part of their, their this is kind of semi-autobiographical I guess but um, Chris Pine and Elizabeth Banks and Michelle Pfeiffer are phenomenal in this movie and I just highly recommend you see people like us. It's not been out that long. It has, it's not in a lot of theaters and it's got a limited release but you need to see people like us. And my number four is going back to the beginning of the summer. You can't go wrong with the Avengers. I think on every level, the acting, the special effects, the action, the, this, the story, how all the other movies all came into one. You know, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, and um, Iron Man 1 and 2 all fit together to, to make what in a great movie and I think you know when you do that you have to have 
actors that know what they're doing, and I think Tom Hiddleston does a great job as Loki once again, and and I can't wait to see uh, Avengers 2, or, or in the meantime, the rest of the Avengers first for Avengers 2. But um, my number three uh, favorite movie of the year is Prometheus. I think Ridley Scott outdoes himself with Prometheus. I mean, ev at every turn, there's there's scary moments and uh, action, and I mean, I think the sets and the, the ship and everything that is in this movie is amazing. And there are just these three or four like you cover your eyes scenes, you're just so scared out of you, or grab your girlfriend or wife or husband or boyfriend or whatever moments that you you just shocked. You're completely shocked. And when you when you have a scary movie, that's what you want. You want shock and awe and really thought provoking. Um, storylines and not stupid campiness you know and, and I think Ridley Scott with this cast of you know Naomi Rapace and Idris Elba and some of these people um, Charlize Theron and Guy Pearce and these people these actors really take this uh, their roles and this material seriously and that's what makes it such a great movie my number two favorite movie of the year is Moonrise Kingdom. Now Moonrise Kingdom takes place back in the 70s and it's about a little camp in an island in New England and, and you have some kind of, you know, you know because it's, it's a little campiness to it but it's a, it's a really, I mean I think it's the most heartwarming story uh, movie of the year so far this relationship between these two children and I, I, Wes Anderson, wow what a great uh, what a great job you do on this movie. I, I, I like some of his other movies like Rushmore and uh, The Royal Tannenbaums but I think this is his best movie yet and I think the acting of Edward Norton and Bruce Willis and Tilda Swinton you know add to some of these and Bill Murray you know some of the people that are in this um, really add to it but it's the story of these two this little boy and this little girl and it's uh, just a wonderful wonderful little uh, movie and it's in limited release again and so you probably have to catch it on DVD when it comes out but you will not go wrong if you don't if you uh, see uh, Moonrise Kingdom and my number one movie of the year so far is The Dark Knight Rises I think this is an almost perfect movie by Christopher Nolan and all these cast members that come back to uh, reprise their roles you know Christian Bale, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine Gary Oldman, they all are phenomenal in this, but I think the new people in it really add to uh, what a great movie and advance the storyline. The villains, uh, Tom Hardy uh, as Bane and uh, Anne Hathaway as Catwoman, it just really enhance the story. But I think the person in this movie that really steals the show is Joseph Gordon Levitt as John Blake, and his storyline is really interesting. and he, he he's in the entire movie from beginning to end and he really does an amazing job as this character and you, you, in a lot of ways you want to see more of John Blake you know and then you also have uh, Miriam Cotillard as Talia Al Ghul so I just think I, the action this the, is just so brutal and there's so much um, stuff going on and uh, in the special effects I mean Pittsburgh fits in perfectly for uh, Gotham City. I think Christopher Nolan could not have um, uh, went out on a better uh, note. I think The Dark Knight Rises is a phenomenal movie and I hope I hope it still stands at the end of the year when it comes to Oscar nominations. Now I'm just going to real quick go over uh, my I think my best actor, best actress of the year. Obviously they've been in a couple movies um, Elizabeth Banks is my best actress, and she's been in a few movies, you know, Man on a Ledge, The Hunger Games, but I think her best uh, role of the year, and I think she's good enough to be act, uh, nominated for maybe a supporting actress role in, in People Like Us. She is absolutely pitch perfect as the, the mother of a single child trying to work, trying to make ends meet, and try to, and then, you know, this, this guy comes into her world, and that guy is played by Chris Pine. And he, to me, is my best actor of the year. And I'm shocked to sit here and say that, but he, I have not seen a performance by any actor this year better than Chris Pine and people like us. And uh, I'm glad he has this in him to be this kind of actor because I did not like him and this means war and I didn't like 
like that movie at all. But I really liked him as Captain Kirk in Star Trek. So I'm glad he can do this kind of, has this kind of dramatic chops about him. And uh, so these are uh, my mid-year awards. And I'm looking forward to the second half of the year. I saw some good movies this year. And I know there's going to be a lot more good and great movies coming out the rest of the year. And so this is Skip and this is my mid-year review. From the fourth row.